First of all, welcome to my in-laws basement. Second of all, I'm about to show you the Diagon Alley Lego set I'm about to build, but I just pulled up the Eras Tour live stream from Wembley Night 7 or whatever. And hell of a drop. Like I said, welcome to my in-laws basement. I'm going to be building the Diagon Alley Lego set. Let me show you. The only thing is there's not a table down here. There's just this piano for children. There's like the TV stand. There are coins in here. And I'm gonna build it on this piano because it's my only option. Dun, 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 dun. There's Ollivander's, Scribble Bullish, Quality Quidditch Supplies, The Daily Prophet, Flourish and Brought, Weasley, Wizarding, whatevers. We'll start with the ribbon cutting ceremony, which is me cutting off the plastic tabs. I would like to welcome you to Serena's Wizarding City. Everyone cheer, yay! Ribbon cutting. This is the front of all the buildings. This is 5,544 pieces. I just opened up the box and I dumped all the bags out onto the piano. It looks like we have four rectangle sheets, four books, got some sticker sheets. Oh, and a box. 21 Silencio, keep it between us. What? What is this? I love surprises. What are you? This is Hagrid. Welcome Harry to Diagon Alley, Ruby is Hagrid. There's 20 steps, but each step has two bags. And there's one unmarked bag. So with the 20 bags, there's actually 42. Oh no, this piano is not gonna be big enough. Ah! 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 Okay, you wanna see a magic trick? Floor. Bell, wall, door, wall, desk. Bag one. So we have the floor, two little windowsill things, the front of this store, a little scroll and parchment, a cute lamp. Come on inside. We have a table with a quill and a lamp and some potions. These are two bag ones and let's open up bag two. The wand bookcase. The other thing that about this set that I'm noticing, there's unique little wand holders in this set. They're not secure and I hate loose pieces. There's a little wand and then there's a special wand box and you can put the wand in the wand box but it doesn't like click in there or anything so you can put a little piece on it then in here there's like a little hole in here put this in the hole but like it's loose stairs okay this is bag two with little olivander we have this moving staircase which collapses in here for convenience, I suppose. Wands under here, a wand thing here, cash register, some lamps in the front in case it gets dark. Back three. I just made little Ollivander signs. Okay, I have my Hermione. Hermione. Whoa! Jeez. Oh! Securing that into place backfired. Okay, this is bag three. So this is bag four. This banister is actually part of bag five. Coming along. We only have bag five left. The roof. I need to catch you up, because I did do a little bit without you. Also, I just got these pajamas from this little company on Instagram called Goosebumps, and they're the stretchiest pajamas I've ever had. I love them. I finished book one, which is building one, which is Ollivander's and the scribble thing. We have the chimney. We have this cool chimney, which is on little thingies so that it's arched and crooked. We have the cute owl, some nice signs. I love cobblestone and some nice trimming on the roof. Flip it around. We have this nice office, these nice stairs that pull out. I showed you most of this before. Nothing's really new back here. So I just started book two. This is gonna be the Quidditch supply store. This is where I'm at so far. I'm about halfway through bags six. There's three bag sixes. So there's some cobblestone, the front sidewalk. And then in here, this looks like it's the Daily Prophet, a bunch of newspapers in here. You're about to build one of Harry's first stores in Diagon Alley. Clothes, the Nimbus 2000. Boop. Bag six, front door, mannequin, the Nimbus 5000, 2000, whatever. Some Quidditch robes, bags seven. I'm also really loving all the glass. Oh man. <laughs> Good morning. Guten Morgen, meine Freunde. Eating a beagle. 
I found these bagels. They're called butter bagels and they have 25 grams of protein in them. I burnt it though. I finished bag seven, which is, it's the front of quality Quidditch supplies. What's weird about this though is it sits right here, but you'd think that it would like connect at the bottom, right? No, no. no. It only connects on these two little things right here. Just that. So it's wobbly, like. So that's bag seven. So now I'm gonna do bag eight. Focus, 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 we're building Legos. Uh, just turn off the light, cracked open a nice breakfast diet coke. Now let's work on bags eight. My father-in-law left this bowl down here. Should I just put them in here? My name is Serena and I brought the bowl. My name is Serena and I brought the Legos. My name's Serena and I brought more Legos. Here's Ronald Weasley. He has little baby legs, maybe because he's a child. In the minifigs, he's a child. Mannequin. Feel free to test fly any of our brooms. Let me show you bag eight. Love the pink walls. I love when they add bubblegum pink to Harry Potter stuff. More Quidditch uniforms, a little chest and brooms that you can ride, a little rug, a mannequin in the corner. And then in the Daily Prophet, we have a spider. That's it, that was bag eight. So on to bag nine, which will complete this building. Wow, the daylight is coming in. I feel like I haven't seen the sun in forever. Book two. This is officially the second building. I love the door. I think that's so beautiful. I love that little sign. The Quidditch flag, Hogwarts flag. On the roof, we have some newspaper. In the attic of Quidditch supplies, we have some boxes and a rat. And then everything else I already showed you, so. So we're officially halfway done. Let's continue with book three. Flourish and Blots. This bookstore with shelves reaching all the way to the ceiling has plenty of magical books in stock. Okay, wait, plot twist. What if we build the last two? at the same time. Like, one back, one back, one back, one back, one back, one back. I love all this bright orange. That's so fun, it looks like Halloween. This was bag 10, which was step one of building three. Molly Weasley. Some cups and stuff, I don't know. Pretty green building. In the window right here is a copy of Magical Me from Gilderoy Lockhart. And then inside is a little pink bookshelf. Bag 15, which is step number one of building four. We have the bright orange corner with two doors and a bunch of windows of Weasley's Wizarding Wheezes. That's a tongue twister. Little Malfoy. I like how they made them little kids with the wiggle witty bitty wiggle wiggle wigs. And then there's an archway for Nocturne Alley. I wish that there was more of Nocturne Alley instead of just like the dark tunnel. <laughs> pre-built some of the spell things in Wiz Weasley's Wizarding Wee Waz, Wee Woo Woo Woos. There's this shelf of trinkets. My favorite part is there's some glitter pieces in there. Then we have a stack of random stuff, including dancing doxy drives cats crazy. I did just finish bag 16 of building four. I love the orange and purple. So this is the front. We have a window hole, a door, a glass circle thing, another door. I love the inside of this building. There's so many little potions and stuff. There's this shelf, this shelf right here, that register, the stairs, that pile of stuff. Just a messy store. Oh, and then the dark mark. We have Flourish and Blots. We don't have the sign for it yet. And then the ice cream shop. Coming in here, we have some cups for the ice cream. This menu, Fortescue's ice cream. Today's suggestions, chocolate with peanut butter, black beer and raisin, bat juice and earwig. Yum. And I love the checkered floor. Over here in the library, we have dragon books. Alchemy will probably be upstairs. I also love these stacks of books. And then they use a clear little piece right here to hold this up to kind of give it a floating effect. And then I love a good bookcase. I think it's so pretty, so. I'm still here in my pajamas. Oh, it's 4.30. I took another Adderall. I do have also a Lucius Malfoy with his beautiful blonde hair. Ginny Weasley. <laughs> Daylight.
break again. I'm going to gently place this in the middle. This was bag 17. Not much is going on on the back side. This is what it looks like. And then on the front, we've completed this window bay these two windows, super cute. And then this nice big jumbo wall. And then this I believe was bag 12. We've done nothing on the inside, but these stairs still come up, which is cool. And then the front is looking beautiful with all those little signs, ice cream on a table and some books. Looking good. Okay, right now I'm making the little, little statue man with his fun little arms and stuff. Flourish and blots. Harry Potter. Little Harry. There's a lantern in the window. And there's only one more bag, only bag 14 for this little building. The last bag. Ah! Hello. Hello. And then the roof. And the last little step. This is little top hat. Top of the morning to ya. Top of the morning to ya. You wanna see, I'll put him on the mantle. One last look. Hello. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow for more Lego videos. Thanks everyone. Bye bye.